The stars at night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. If you're going to cover classic songs, you, you got to do a good job. You know, you can't just mess around. The stars at night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. It's the story of Texas and its songs that most people have heard. Deep in the heart of Texas, the rabbits rush. All right, cool. So here we go. So let's up uh, act five. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. The rhythm is the skeleton. Some of the rhythms are classic rhythms straight from Brazil, and we call them what they would call them in Brazil. Other rhythms are proprietary, where things, things that we made up. And four, yes. five, six. Now I'm here. Show off to the songs three, themselves tell a story. So then my challenge was how do I reflect a little bit and wink at the story being told in the song, but then also try and remain true to the underlying Brazilian rhythms. We wanted to pay homage to all of the different styles of song that have influenced Texas across its history. Let them fancy footwork, and then we'll flourish and hang on. Okay. And the idea that we can have rawhide, you know, this quintessentially Texan song, on top of that samba Afro beat was a lot of fun for me. We wanted to make it campy. That was the other thing. We don't want to make fun of anybody, but we wanted to have fun, not be afraid to have cows hopping around and partying on stage. <laughs> it reflects another level of our authenticity when compared to Rio and Brazilian samba schools. They often tell the history of their place and their themselves and their own culture. And so the idea that we can do that and tell the Texas story, you know, on a Brazilian platform is amazing. If you're dancing the Rio style, the elegant, tall posture like a ballerina is the style of posture that you want to have. But if you're dancing that Northeastern style, you want to get a little bit more down close to the earth and funkier. And, and these are the rhythms that are attributed to the Northeast versus these kinds of rhythms are a little bit more Rio rhythms. It does take some time to learn that. Here's where those rhythms come from and what they mean to the people who originated those rhythms. In Brazil, it largely is a community. The Samba schools uh, will be from from a community, like Mangueira is from the community of Mangueira. When I started it, it was about drumming, you know, but it was, it was really about trying to create a space where people could be part of something positive and the uh, samba and the costumes and the, all that stuff is a side effect. At the heart of it, we are a community of people coming from all walks of life who all share in common this love and curiosity and interest in Brazilian dance and history and culture and to, quite frankly, practice the craft so that we can continue to grow in that artistic culture. Okay.